So take this, today is National Coming Out Day, and in the comic book city of Metropolis, Superman is coming out as bisexual. That's right, the new Superman, his name is John Kent. He's a child of Clark Kent and Lois Lane. He's fallen for another male character in the DC comics. And let's just be real, coming out gives all of us in the LGBTQ community our very own superpower, the power to be ourselves, the power of autonomy. So President Biden commemorated the day by saying this, today and every day, I want every member of the LGBTQ plus community to know that you are loved and accepted just the way you are, regardless of whether or not you've come out. He added that the country is still, still has a lot of work to do to achieve equality for all Americans. And I, I, listen, coming out is very personal. It is very complicated. It used to be more, it still is very complicated. For many people, it might even be unsafe. And it's one of the most important milestones in an LGBTQ person's life. To anyone at home who may be thinking about coming out, it doesn't have to be today. It should be when you are ready, when it feels right for you. So just so you know, a decade ago, 10 years ago, I came out. I was worried about you know, being shunned or ostracized. I wrote about it in my book, Transparent, and I talked about it on air. I cared yesterday before it happened. And I don't know if care is the right word for today because uh -huh. I feel like whatever happens from this point on, what will be will be. And if uh -huh. the broadcast, if there's not enough room for a gay anchor, gay black anchor, or whatever it is, then um, my career will transform into something else. I will be successful and I will, I, will pros I will prosper at something else. And I think that's a lesson in this, especially to young people, mm -hmm. is that you can, all you have to do is just keep moving, just stay in the game. It's always my motto, just one foot in front of the other and remain positive and optimistic. On this National Coming Out Day, keep moving and know that there is a community of people who love and support you. On National Coming Out Day, DC Comics announced the new Superman, Jonathan Kent, will be bisexual. Kent, the child of Clark Kent and Lois Lane, will explore his identity and other social issues in the new comic, Son of Kal-El. Join me now is Tom Taylor, the comic book writer behind it all and a New York Times best-selling author. Tom, it's great to meet you. I'm a little bit of a comic book junkie, so I appreciate you joining us. Tell us about Superman and his friend, Jay Nakamura. What's their relationship like? Sure. Well, their relationship, if you've seen the pictures today, is obviously a close one. Uh, but this Superman is not Clark Kent. I do want to make that clear from the get-go. This is John Kent, who is actually the son of Clark Kent and Lois Lane. Why? Why did you make this decision? <laughs> Why did I make this decision? Well, when I was offered the gig to have a new Superman and a new Superman number one for DC Comics, that's a very big thing. And I think the first question I had to ask myself was what does Superman, what should Superman represent today? Um, a new Superman, if you're going to make a new Superman, what should that look like? And it struck me as it would be a real opportunity lost if we had another, if we had Clark Kent replaced by another straight white savior. So here was an opportunity to create a Superman who could represent a whole new group of people. And I think that was one that we had to leap on. And we'll be addressing modern day issues like? Like the climate crisis, like refugees. Um, John in the last issue has just been arrested attending a protest, trying to stop the refoulement of asylum seekers. Um, he get, does 45 minutes of hard time is how he puts it. Uh, but as a, as a stand, it's a very powerful thing. And yes, yeah, so this is one of the things for him. He is trying to work out who he is, who he is as Superman, who he is as John Kent. And so us as the writer and everybody at DC Comics is watching him go through this process of finding himself and seeing that on the page. What do you say to people who say Superman should just be fighting robots, shooting lasers and Lex Luthor and the Legion of Doom, not dealing with this kind of stuff? Uh, well, what I'd say to those people is that he is going to be, I promise he will punch a robot. That's just a guaranteed. He will come up against Lex Luthor in our upcoming annual. Um, all those things are part and parcel of Superman, and this is just something extra that that very important symbol can now represent. Yeah. And I have to say, having seen the reaction today, having seen online what it's meant to people, I've, I've seen so many messages from all over the world in so many different languages, people saying that 
and they saw this news and burst into tears. People saying that they never thought that they would be able to see themselves mm. in Superman. That they wish other people who older people, older queer people who've said they wish they had this growing up and they're so happy that younger people or people who haven't come out yet have this today. Um, it's wonderful that you're getting that reaction. There's also some of the other type of reaction, particularly here in the U.S., political reaction, because everything's got to be political now, including Superman, apparently. This is from Wendy Rogers, who's a state legislature, legislator in Arizona, who wrote, Superman loves Lewis Lane, she writes, period. Hollywood is trying to make Superman gay, and he's not. I cannot stress the level of ignorance in this tweet, first of all, because she spells Lois Lane Lewis to begin with, A. And B, <laughs> she says that Superman loves Lewis Lane. I mean, Lois Lane's his mom. How depraved is this Wendy Rogers from Arizona? <laughs> right. Uh, look, I think, I kind of, I don't, I don't know whether it's just being a strain, but I actually read that as Louis Lane, and I just hope, whoever Louis is, I hope he's a wonderful man and they're very happy together. <laughs> um, look, it is, it's, we're going to get some backlash for this, but the key for me isn't, the people that are upset, it's for the people that are welcomed in by this, that say today, you know, the, this is more powerful than a locomotive, that this is literally the most powerful superhero in comics. And one of the best known all around the world is now bisexual. And I think that's a really big and really strong statement. Tom Taylor, I appreciate you joining <laughs> us this morning. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.